Uh, and it's important that we now have opportunities like this webinar to discuss these issues and how we can all work together. I think that opportunities like this bring into focus uh, and into the mainstream agenda uh, and, and not have them relegated to the margins. And that is because this is an agenda that is not just exclusive to policymakers. And to that extent, it is so important that we continue raising awareness through initiatives like this one that come from civil society organizations who have the ground truth, who know the real struggles that people are facing, um, sometimes even when policy or, or legislation is supposed to be conducive to their rights, but reality shows that it is not. Uh, they uh, propose a draft of the family resilience bill that uh, that put LGBT into uh, rehabilitation and family interventions to cure LGBT LGBT people in Indonesia. At the moment, there are already laws that criminalize trans people, but you know, these amendments are intended to make it easier to arrest transgender people, right? Um, but we have high, like, people from high commissions that are mostly foreign high commissions or foreign embassies that has been approaching us and providing safe spaces for us to have like, a dialogue, just have conversation and for us to share each other's experiences and how we can move forward together as a community. And through our advocacy, yeah, intersex uh, uh, issues advocacy, I, uh, we truly believe that the, uh, the I will not stand for invisible anymore. This is the uh, legislative process that we all have to undergo. Right now, the bill is on uh, step two. We are at uh, it's uh, being deliberated on at the committee, in the Committee on Women and Gender Equality, but it has uh, the support of the committee members. So we still have uh, three steps left, you see? Okay, let's go to the final slide. Okay, I think that's the final slide already. So uh, we remain uh, unfazed and we remain determined in our uh, desire to have an anti-discrimination bill on the task in uh, this um, legislature. If we have a population for LGBT for after gender recognition and name title, so I can ask for the budgeting to make um, the LGBT clinic happen everywhere in Thailand. If we have much population, next slide. Because uh, to fight about the health and well-being, about the mentality, even if, if the youth has got a problem with the family and they are afraid to coming out, they need someone to advise. They need some doctor to talk to. They need someone to talk to. And hormones for transgender, how how to use it, and not dangerous and for HIV, pep, preps, pill for protection and infection disease and more. I think that LGBT clinic has to provide a service specified for, for LGBTQ. Discrimination against LGBTIQ uh, is already planted in the system where the system itself, where the government itself participates in discrimination of its own citizens. Uh, on one side, the constitution provides protection for you, but on the real, in reality, it is not. It is really does not give you any protection. We live in an age of connectivity. Maybe we can trans, uh, we can transcend connectedness. Our parliamentarians can actually be our lawmakers and our activists, the community groups from each country can learn from each other. You know, we're only one tweet or one uh, Facebook or one email away and webinars have become 
um, the in thing, you know, since it's probably one of the the learnings that we gathered, you know, from the the challenges of the pandemic beginning last year is that we learn how to navigate the global spaces, the regional spaces through online um, communication. And if we continue this with this platform, we can continue to learn from each other, learn from the challenges, and then you know, share best practices on what we can pick up from one country or several countries and try to apply it in our own. If these would be helpful strategies in advancing protection laws, recognition laws, and anti-discrimination laws, all forms of, of legislation that protects everyone in promoting equality, inclusion, and uh, acceptance in our respective countries. Mm-hmm.